guys, Caroline here from Havana Skin Clinics. I'm coming back to you today um, to answer a lot of questions that have been sent through. Can you wax in between your treatments is a very popular question that we get asked all of the time. Um, especially if you've been waxing prior to having laser done, you're in that habit. But the answer is unfortunately no. If you were to wax the hair, you're pulling the hair out of the hair shaft, meaning the laser on your next treatment isn't going to successfully reach the base of your hair shaft to destroy the hair. Can it cause any harm? No, but the results aren't going to be there, so you're, you're pretty much throwing your money away. So we say bin the waxing and bin the tweezers. The age for laser hair removal is age 18 without parents' consent. If you are under age 18 and you have a hormonal imbalance which is causing a problem with the hair, you can of course have laser hair removal done with parents' consent um, to maintain the area. But to bear in mind, if you are below age 18, you're, you're going to be still dealing with the hormone imbalances up until a little above age 21. Um, so that means you're going to be generating new hairs. So the end result from the treatment can't be as successful as if you were starting laser at an older age. But of course, if it's, if, if it's affecting you in confidence wise or if it's a problem area, um, maintenance on the area is going to help if you have laser hair removal within that time frame. FDA approved to say that laser hair removal is permanent um, for the simple reason that we have thousands of dormant hair follicles in our body that can be stimulated at any given time. We have the same amount of hairs in our body as a chimpanzee but fortunately we don't grow them all at the same time but at any given time they can be activated through many different factors. Medication, menopause, hormone imbalances, diet, stress, pregnancy and um, certain medications can stimulate these dormant hair follicles to start growing. But of course the hairs that we work on in a treatment, if they're in an active stage of growth, we are destroying them hairs and they are permanent, permanently removed and they're not going to grow again. If you are experiencing any growth after you've had your laser treatments done, it's generally going to be down to that hormone change in your body which is causing new hairs to arise and um, at that point you would need to be coming in and having your maintenance treatments done. A lot of people get confused and think you need to leave an amount of hair for the treatment. We don't need to see the hair when you're coming in for each treatment and that's why we do an informed consultation to assess the area and um, we'll, we'll be checking in on the hair as your treatments go on to see has there been any changes in the thickness which we will adjust as it's required. Um, but for a treatment you would have to be completely clean shaved in order for the treatment to go ahead on the day. The reason for this is because one, we need to be sending the energy to the hair that's beneath the skin, meaning that we're going to have more absorption down at the root of the hair for a, a better treatment. Two, if there is any growth on the area, it's basically like putting a lighter to your hair. It's going to shrivel up and cause an irritation on the skin and it could lead to a burn. So we definitely wouldn't go ahead and treat any visible hairs on the day. And also it can damage the equipment. So important to make sure you're shaving 24 hours prior to your treatment so the night before is the best time not to do with the day of your treatment because you can get an irritation to shaving sometimes and if you're prone to getting irritations after shaving you definitely don't want to shave on the day of your treatment because that's like heat on heat the laser treatments might not be able to go ahead mm -hmm. 